What's up guys? I have another story here today and this story is about when I lost about $200,000 worth of Bitcoin. And I'm not saying I lost Bitcoin itself. I just made very bad mis investment mistakes when I was younger and I was naive about a lot of the uh, implications of what investing was. I was always thinking about the short term investments about a lot of things. When I was about 22 years old, I was working at Starbucks and I saw Bitcoin. It was only about one $134. And I was like, man, Bitcoin has gone up a lot since I first saw it, which was about only worth $2 when my friend uh, first introduced me to Bitcoin. And, and I was like, eh, it's a skeptical thing. I didn't know about it. And, I, and my friend was showing me and it was like this new kind of generational coin, like cryptocurrency. I thought it was a scam, I guess a pyramid scheme, essentially. That's what I thought about Bitcoin when I first saw it for about like $2 for $2 and 34 cents. Over the time, Bitcoin started to go up and up and down on the price. And I forgot about it because I was stuck honed on saying Bitcoin was a scam. And when I did more research on Bitcoin, I realized Bitcoin wasn't a scam and it was used to barter and barter trade without having to go through a middleman, which is the banks at, at the time. The only way to get into Bitcoin was to go into the mar like go to like a third party M M Gox, which was like the uh, the t that's the time I figured out how to get into Bitcoin, and you had to actually get a wallet like a Bitcoin wallet to actually acquire Bitcoin, and and Bitcoin was kind of hard to get because you had actually had to mine the Bitcoin, so mining the Bitcoin certified with M Gox to actually trade the Bitcoin. Not a lot of exchanges back then. It was still very very new. I bought Bitcoin when I was still when I worked at Starbucks. Bought it at one to hundred and thirty four dollars through Coinbase, and Coinbase was like the first cryptocurrency bank at the time that lets people actually get more access to Bitcoin at a very easier pace. I was working there, and I, I was with my one of my my favorite customers, and his name was uh, Mr. Graham. And Mr. Graham and me would like always talk back and forth about Bitcoin. And uh, Mr. Graham is a very old guy in his 80s and he's like basically seen everything and me, me, me and mr graham would go back and forth and talk about bitcoin and we we would discuss about it he would pull out the newspaper and like oh look at bitcoin it's gone up he's talking about the future it's like could bitcoin could be worth like like a lot and i was like yeah that could be that i was like yeah i have a i'm a strong believer in bitcoin i was like now i'm like really invested in bitcoin at this time i got a little I guess a little greedy in my in my investment because I was like, cool, I have 10 Bitcoin. I invested a thousand dollars into Bitcoin and Bitcoin wasn't very, like I said, it wasn't huge. And I was like, OK, I have one thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin. I started to sell off half of the Bitcoin. I don't know why I sold half because I was thinking about the short term. And I think it was like greediness of like wanting to having the instant now because like instant gratification it was a way for me to get out of Starbucks. I didn't want to work at Starbucks anymore. And I was like, I could do day trading. I can I can make day, t day trading work. I can make this all work out. I can start making a good flow income from it. Ultimately, I sold all the Bitcoin, except for on. Bas I basically lost on the day trading because I wasn't very smart with the, the way how I was doing day trading. Even though I was a strong believer in Bitcoin, I still was trying to make a quick buck here and there. If I just held on to the 10 bitcoins at the time and not making the stupid mistake of actually selling it listening to mr graham my 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 loyal customer at starbucks we've always discussed like oh hold on to your bitcoin then i probably would have had two hundred thousand dollars worth of bitcoin at the time and because the reason why i'm saying i could have two hundred thousand dollars because right now bitcoin itself is worth about nineteen thousand dollars currently 2014 it was 134 it jumped up to two nineteen thousand dollars in 2017 end of december if i held on that bitcoin now i would have had that two hundred thousand dollars in my hand and i could probably solve a lot of my family's uh financial issues at the end of the day finances and uh, and money is it's a tool to use yes but then it would give me freedom to actually do the things i want to do instead of having to work at a day job I can focus on other things like more do more investments, do business, thinking about ahead of like more maybe investing in another business because you need capital to, in order to invest in, into these companies or invest in these cryptocurrencies. And another missed opportunity I, I came across was Ethereum. And Ethereum was also very low as well. 
And I saw Ethereum jump onto Coinbase and it was only worth nine dollars. And I was like, man, I don't believe in Ethereum. I was like, it's not going to blow up. And then Ethereum blows up to three hundred dollars and it blows up all the way up to a thousand dollars. And I'm like, well, what I'm trying to tell you about this video is that every failure that I have experienced and every investment has taught me to just keep pushing forward and learning from those experiences and learning that not to worry about the short term, but more of the long term of everything. When you invest now, just invest and hold on to the coin. Just hold on to it or whatever stock you're holding on to, because at the end of the day, you want to hold on to something that's going to give you that, you know, it's going to give you value and it's going to grow over time. Right now, I'm invested into Celsius and I'm also invested into uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin. And sure, I have made I've lost two hundred thousand dollars in the past. Now I look at it and I'm making a better decision to live more frugally. I'm I'm glad I'm debt free and holding on for the long term and figuring out how to make more passive income with the cryptocurrencies and also stocks that I that I have currently. Yeah, that's my story of when I've lost about two hundred thousand dollars of worth of Bitcoin. And just don't make the same mistakes as I did. Invest for the long term, invest for holding on. I think Warren Buffett said something along the lines of investing for the long term, and I, I can't quote him on everything. And Bitcoin is doing very really well because of PayPal. PayPal is going to inter integrate um, cryptocurrencies into their, their system, and I'm just looking forward to that and seeing how the market's going to be. Uh, I'm seeing how the market's going to play out. Thanks, you guys, for watching. I will see you guys in another video. I'm just trying to get all my thoughts here with this video tell you more stories so yeah peace